Welcome back to JavaScript. We will be covering... What? No, this, this is the voice I want to use today. Welcome back to JavaScript series. Fine, fine. Hi, hello. Welcome back to another portion of the JavaScript series. Today we will be covering arithmetic operators within JavaScript. Without further ado, let's get started and stay out the shot, man. Bro. Okay, without further ado, let's get started and make sure you have your Visual Studio Code Editor open. All right, now that we got that out the way, let's go on ahead and create a new file. Today we're going to be working with arithmetic operators, you know, adding, subtracting, multi multiplying, all within JavaScript itself. Let's go over here and start a new file. And let's uh, actually call it what we're working with, arithmetic operators .html. And we may not even really use the HTML, but if anything else, it's going to be a, a bare bones portion. So let's say, let's call the title arithmetic, arithmetic operators. And, you know, let's add the JS file here. Script. And the source for where we're going to place the file will be here, right within the same directory. Operators.js. And we'll defer it so that will pretty much make sure that the markup loads before the actual script. And I don't think we're going to use any CSS, but you know what? Just in case, let's go on ahead and add that as well. All right dot CSS that I do let's open this up with live server all right and we'll go on ahead squish this bad boy over here and that over there close this and this and just in case you didn't know I know some of you may be new to the channel but we are using Visual Studio code for our editor um, and uh, you can just pretty much go uh, do a search within Google and just type in Visual Studio Code. You'll download it directly from the Microsoft site. Make sure it's Visual Studio Code and not Visual Studio because there are a there there, there are some major differences. All right, so let's put give us a give ourselves an element to work with just to show some output. And I'm just going to give this an ID of output. And if this is, if you're wondering what the heck is that, uh, just go back to the HTML and CSS portion, mainly the CSS portion of the channel. And But basically the short version is I want to be able to capture this particular element and using JavaScript, I will use this element to actually uh, uh, populate some data. So, oh, we did not create the actual JavaScript file. Let's go on ahead and do that. Arithmetic. Operators.js. Okay, and since we're here, might as well create that CSS file just in case we actually use it. Uh, I don't think we are, but you know, just in case. And of course, I'm just naming these the same name and just changing the um, operations operators, changing the actual extensions. .css file, .html file, and .js file. Okay, and again, um, if you're unfamiliar with these different extensions, I do cover it in the CSS portions and the HTML portions of the actual channel itself. So let's close this out and let's get started here. I think we're good here. Uh, we have nothing here, but let's just put some test stuff here. Testing just to see something on the screen and good, good, good. That's perfect. Now from there, let's go on ahead to our JavaScript file. We can close this. Don't think we'll be working with that anymore. And let's create some variables. Let A, B, and C, and also result. Okay, so these are basic variables. These are four variables that I just uh, created. And we're going to give them some values as well. So we'll just say A equals uh, uh, 30, and B equals 5, and 
c equals three. I could have used any numbers here, but basically what we're just trying to do is work with some type of math operators. So if I open up my console over here, I did that by right clicking on the empty screen and scrolling down to inspect. You'll notice the shortcut of control shift I if you wanted to use that. So here I'm trying to do something like three plus three or three plus two equals five. Okay, so I want to use JavaScript to actually do that. So let's go back over here. Uh, let's capture the actual DOM element that we have within our markup. So let L output, and of course you can name this anything you'd like, equals document, which is the uh, window object, and get element by ID, which is the actual method of the object document and then we're going to use the actual name in our markup for the id which is output and here we go so let's use that and now we have access to everything within the actual uh everything within the actual element itself okay so that's fine and to make sure it's actually fine. Let's type in L output over here, see what we get. And as you can see, everything is actually within the actual console here. So that's perfect, that's perfect. And again, you don't have to work within the console. I find it relatively useful because there are some times where, I mean, we're gonna be working with the actual elements, the console, sources, network. There's a number of things in the element tool that uh, Chrome browser does provide that we're gonna be working with. So we might as well just kind of start working with it here and there. All right. so going back so let's work with our addition operator first okay and what we're going to do is we're going to use l output dot text content just to showcase the actual answers here and i'm going to put i'm going to put the answers within a template string uh I need a little bit more room here. Uh, no, nah, I think that, that should work. All right, so your answer, let's go with, basically what I'm trying to do is, let's use one of the variables that we have up, up at the top. So if I were to say A plus A, all right, and then you'll notice up at the top, yeah, I get the answer is 60. Why? Because A, which has a value of 30, Okay, and I'm doing A plus A and applying that to the text content property of the L output object, which we defined up here. Okay, so that is your addition. If I wanted to make that look a little prettier, I could just do like this and say your answer is, and then use a template string and close it off and leave it like that and there you see your answer is 60 and that looks a little bit a little better and since we don't have anything within the styles just so we can actually add something there let's do that output for the rule and we'll just give it a border 1px solid blue and that's good we'll give it a width uh, 30 no uh, let's go 200 and we'll display block and I'll fix this error that we have here and if this looks like hieroglyphics the, this is covered in the CSS portion okay 200 a little too small let's go over here and just take a look and the reason why I'm opening up here is because we can actually adjust that right here 200 is too small so i can go up or down while clicking on that just to see how it'll fit that looks much better 261 i'll just go up to 265 four four let's do that okay and pixels all right and it is set to display a block and let's just have it centered on the screen so zero margin up and down and left and right auto. So your answer is 60. All right, that'll work. I think we're done with that. Let's go over here. It's nothing pretty, but hey, we just wanted to add some styles to it so you can kind of start getting used to that. All right, so the addition is, your answer is A plus A, which is 60. I'll comment this out and we'll go to subtraction. And what we can do, let's just copy that 
go below that, paste it, and then uncomment it by doing control question mark. And this is just going to be subtraction. Subtraction, good. And your answer is, let's do A minus five. So A minus, your answer is, let's see, A minus the variable B, and that should come out to 25, and there it is up there. So that covers your subtraction. All right, so far so good, you're doing great. Let's go on below here. And oh, <laughs> control B, wrong one, control V to paste. And this is going to be uh, division. Yes, let's do some division because we all love division. Okay, and control C, con uh, control question mark for that. And we're going to divide. What are we looking for here? Let's divide. How about A divided by C? Okay, let's do that in here. So A, and of course you can do this within the console as well if you wanted to just play around there. Um, so if I just comment that out real quick and I want it to go, let's say A divided by C, and you get your answer right there in the actual browser or uh, right within the console. Okay, so let me uncomment that and we'll do that right here so you have it for your reference. A divided by C, and there's our answer right here in the actual DOM, right there in the element. So that's good. All right, so we're moving quite along. And let's actually go to multiplication. Okay, mole. <laughs> multiplication. Okay, and let's, oh, get rid of that. And let's multiply B times B in this one here, and we'll get the output. So there's A times, there's A plus A again. We can do A times A, which is 900. If we were to do B times B, which will give us 25, which is perfect. And if I actually increase that, you could do a number of things here. You can do parentheses as well. Okay, so if I did B times B, okay, B times B, which is 25, and then said, you know what, let's then divide that by five. Okay, and then you get your answer of five. Okay, so there's a little multiplications where you can change the actual order of operation using parentheses. Um, uh, so you can definitely um, expand your math there. So let's comment that out. All right, copy that, and let's move on to, oh, the mod modulus. So the modulus is a little different. That's a funny one there. Modulus. Okay. So the modulus, what that does is that pretty much gives you the remainder. So if I were to do, do I have, what do I have here? If I do, I don't have a variable for that, so let's just do 10. Okay, modulus, which is going to be the percent sign. So modulus and by C, which is three. So 10 divided by three. Three goes into 10 how many times? Three point what? Like 3.33 .3 times. Um, but in this case, modulus gives you the remainder. So 10 divided by three would be three, but the actual remainder of that is one. So one's left over. So that's what we should actually receive. So 10 modulus three. And we don't want the divided by five part. We just want that. And I can take the parentheses out because we don't need that. And 10 modulus three, and then here it is. Your answer is one because you only get the actual remainder back. Okay, so if I did 15 divided by three, and let's see here, that's zero because there is no remainder. So if I did 15 divided by two, all right, one is a remainder because 15 divided by two is seven and then there's one left over. So that's how you get that answer there. Okay, so let's comment that out and you can have that for your wonderful reference. Okay, and what do we have left? Oh, let's go over the increment and decrement. So let's do that. So multiplication oh, we're going to do increment how can we increment an actual number 
and what we're going to do let's increment a a is currently 30 so if I go over here and I say a plus plus for increment it should then increase the value of a by 1 giving us 31 so what happens if I type a over here you'll see in the console I have 31 all right I never tried that in the browser let's do a increment all right okay so it's still the default there um all right so moving on so if i were to put that just in the actual output your answer is and i were to just type in a and let's see your answer oh i'm looking down here all right your answer is 31. a was 30 we're going to increment it by one and then what we're going to have is just 31. So that's how you increment a number. And, and this is something you'll end up seeing when we get to for loops as well. So let's comment that out and let's do decrement. And I think that, that'll actually end us off there. Okay, decrement. And let's see, which one are we going to use here? We'll use A again. So, so A is currently 30. We'll decrement it by it just pretty much by one and let's use let's output it to the screen actually let's copy this one and then we'll uncomment it and there we go up at the top a is 30 but we decrement a right here and so now your output is 29 and that is just some basic arithmetic operators you did notice that we can use the parentheses to change our order of operations if need be um pat yourself on the back how about the left side and the right and that is pretty much it subscribe to the channel hit the notification so you can get some additional information as to when the new material has been released and of course the subscriptions definitely help me and they help the rest of our subscribers as well um, any comments or concerns feel free to email me and or you can leave a comment within the comments because I do respond there okay all right full stack out